to my second episode of Rebel Woo, where I'm trying to make a positive difference for these Kali Yuga times that we're in. I'm very excited because today we're going to talk about geoengineering. Since my beautiful blue skies in Austin have turned to this white, thanks to the chemicals being sprayed in our skies. It's gonna be blue skies, except now there's all these white lines coming. And it's gonna change the blue to white. This is not natural. Yes, now it is super smoggy. Why you spray this crap? It's bad for doggies. I hate it! Let's start this morning by asking for the protection of our being and our light and what we're trying to accomplish here on Earth. May that love, light, and protection surround us, surround me, surround you, and allow us to operate freely without fear, surrounding us with the love and light protection of the divine that exists outside of this 3D reality that we're in. So anyways, this morning it started out beautiful, crisp blue skies. Then all of a sudden, here come these planes flying over with these white contrails behind them. Except they're not contrails with condensation. It's something else because condensation eventually dissipates. And whatever's coming out of these airplanes doesn't dissipate. It does the opposite, it actually starts to spread out, creating this white, whitish brown film in the sky. It changes the color of light, the quality of light, and it also changes the heat of the light. This is obviously weather modification. And so my question to Governor Abbott, since I live in Texas, is what are in these chemicals? And if you think that I'm just some crazy nut job, you can go and research this for yourself, preferably on a search engine. Ah! Sorry. Preferably on a search engine other than Google that will allow you to actually find things other than what Google decides you should know. And it's extensive outside the scope of Google, I will tell you. You'll find that NOAA has a definition and talks about it. And you'll even find that the state of Texas has a place where you can apply for a permit for weather modification. So what are the common chemicals that are used for weather modification? The first one is silver iodide. Sounds harmless. Potassium iodine, all right, and solid carbon dioxide. Now, I am not a scientist, but the theory I have been told is that too much carbon dioxide in the air is what causes global warming. So does it seem a little hypocritical that we are shooting solid carbon dioxide into the air? And this is really going to surprise you, but there are suspicions that there might be other chemicals being used in these clouds that are being sprayed in our skies. And one of those where there is quite a bit of research showing that it is being used is coal fly ash. Now, why is that a problem? Because coal fly ash can eventually become a type of aluminum that bonds to human beings. All of these research articles and links will be posted in the description. Now, from an article that was retracted, probably because the person researching this was not on the dole of either Big Brother or Nefarious Ag, this person has stated the following. The ability of coal fly ash to release aluminum in a chemically mobile form upon exposure to water or body moisture has potentially grave human and environmental consequences over a broad spectrum, including implications for neurological diseases and biota debilitation. You can read that article for yourself. Let me summarize though. Heavy metals can cause sickness. Heavy metals can reduce male fertility. Heavy metals increase the chance of stroke. Heavy metals can cause atmospheric warming and heavy metals in our skies can create rainfall retardation. 
As a former Coloradan, now turned Texan, I can tell you, looking around this past year, all of those things sure seem to be happening. Personally, I think that if we, as puny little humans in the existence of the universe, think that we're smart enough to modify the weather to make it more beneficial, then humans are part of the problem. Now, we're probably way too far down the rabbit hole to actually stop what's being sprayed in our skies. All I'm doing is simply sending this to Governor Abbott saying, here's the evidence that this is happening. Can you please disclose to me and all citizens what these chemicals are so that we can decide for ourselves how we want to mitigate that in our own bodies. That's our constitutional right to decide what we put in and on our body. If they're spraying stuff all in the sky and it's going to enter my body, I at least have a right to decide how I'm going to try to get that out of me, as well as how I can boost my immune system and boost my body's operations so that I'm not so negatively affected by these heavy metals that they're spraying. I hope that you will look into this yourself and that we can create common sense solutions for the new society that we are in.